Lines forming at gas stations around the nation after the Colonial Pipeline shut down, and it's the panic that could make the problem worse. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Evan Forrester. Sheets this evening tell us that some of its gas stations are on empty. However, it has nothing, nothing to do with the pipeline. Instead, they say it's all because of panic buying. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner live this evening in York County with the message that leaders have for folks that keep buying more and more gasoline. The worry is that gas is going to become the new hand sanitizer or even toilet paper with people hoarding and making it difficult for everyone else. It's the stuff that fuels the nation. But what's fueling panic are images just like this. In the south, lines. Tom Merriam of York County isn't too worried yet. Have you gotten an extra gas and gassed up your cars? No, in fact, I was down on empty when I got here. But other people certainly are. It's the panic that's making the problem much worse. That has turned into the bulk of the problem actually right now. And gas stations are going through a tanker truck, not in three to five days, which is average, but eight hours. It's just going to diminish our supply that we have here regionally, and it's going to push our prices up. Governor Tom Wolf taking to Twitter to calm fears, saying the state is monitoring potential impacts from the colonial pipeline shutdown, but that Pennsylvania should know we're expecting minimal impact and to not stockpile on gas, to not create shortages. There's still fuel. Now it's a point of not the pipeline, but being able to replenish as quickly as people are filling their tanks and jerry cans. So take it from the experts, if you don't need gas, don't get it. You don't have need for the extra gas right now. Just stick with what you have. Or else we could all pay the price. Do you think gas is going to be the new thing? Do you think it's going to make people <laughs> hoard gas? I saw somebody on Facebook say that today. He basically said, stop buying gas. You're creating a toilet paper panic. And I asked that expert at Gas Buddy how long this would take to resolve itself if everyone just stopped panicking. And he said it would actually take just days. The problem is that the tanker trucks have to keep driving to refuel stations like this when people panic. And that caused even more delays than there are now. Live in York Township, York County, Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News.